Friends in Jesus Christ, we are in Easter Active. So today's Gospel, it tells us about how Mary Magdalene was so much attached to Jesus. She was there in the tomb, there bending down and looking at uh, the place where Jesus was laid, where Jesus was uh, laid down or where they kept him. So she she saw two angels, one at the one at one on the head and one on the feet. One at the feet. So therefore she was asking them, Have you taken my Lord? If you have taken him, please tell me. I will go and take. And they were telling like he is resurrected. He rose. And then she meets Jesus, thinking that he was a gardener and she once Jesus says Mary and she recognizes and says Rabbi which means you are my Lord you are my everything you are my friend everything completely she was happy she enjoyed she had the full peace of mind and fulfillment of the joy she could be the first one you know that uh, uh, experienced the joy of Jesus Christ as Jesus was telling me you know I came that your joy may be complete. So she was the first one to experience that joy, the complete joy, the fullness of joy, the eternal joy which, which Jesus is going to give each and every one of us, dear friends. And then what she did? She once she met Jesus Christ and then she began to proclaim about Jesus Christ to the disciples, the first person to Proclaim about the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the first person, dear friends. So in our lives, when we come to our lives, I have experienced Jesus Christ in my life. I have seen it. I may experience God in various ways, His blessings and so on. But am I able to articulate my blessing? Am I able to articulate my God experience with the other person? So when I do it, what happens is that the faith is increasing, dear friends. You are increasing their faith. You are strengthening their faith, dear friends. Because uh, when Mary Magdalene came to know that Jesus was alive, Jesus rose from the dead, then she ran to the disciples and uh, telling them that he rose from the dead. What were these disciples were doing? They were afraid. Their only Lord was dead. They, whom they believed that he was the Messiah, that he was the one who is going to save the Jews. Uh, they were in fear. They have lost almost their faith. They did not understand the scripture as well. So once she proclaimed, they began to get that strength. Though they may had a doubt, you know, Peter and John, they ran to see what happened. Uh, they saw the empty tomb. But in a way, she was strengthening their faith, dear friends. So in our lives too, we also need to tell our experience to God, others. And that's how we will strengthen their faith as well. And also we will grow in our faith. Let's practice this in our day-to-day -day life. Thank you.